Brian here again just coming at you with an update it's been a few weeks so I thought I would just kind of go through and uh, show you all the tanks tell you what's been going on there's been some changes gotten rid of some stuff got some new stuff and uh, so we'll show you all that in a minute um, but uh, first of all I just wanted to thank all my subscribers I recently I uh, hit the 3500 mark and I'm actually pretty close to 3600 now since that happened but I just haven't had done a video since then and I just really appreciate all my subscribers that take the time to watch my videos and subscribe and comment and talk to me and stuff like that um, it just blows me away that I would ever get to this point um, and it's not something that I'm like shooting for to get more subscribers and stuff like that. I just started doing this to share my tanks with you and interact with other hobbyists and it's it's really done a lot more than what I thought. So thanks to every single one of you guys that subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, and also just thanks for everybody that views the videos. Um, had some really nice uh, kind of turnouts or or amount of views on a lot of videos lately. I actually had one that hit 10,000 which just blows me away but um, and it was just a tank update like I'm doing right now so so that's pretty cool but anyway thanks for watching I'll quit babbling about that and um, we will show you the tanks I'll just start up here where I'm at right now in my office with the 150 gallon discus tank planted discus tank things are doing decent um, it's keeping its balance pretty good I'm getting a little bit of hair algae up in, in some of this Blixa japonica up here that I've been working with but otherwise uh, you know the s repens carpet is doing good the Blix is doing good uh, you can see the Rotala rotundifolia and back really needs a trim I just been lazy on that but um, and the AR mini's doing okay um, I'm still this this plant is still a tricky one for me to figure out how to really get it to take off and 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 get really red like it's supposed to be but uh, the discus are all doing fairly good uh, except for one um, this guy over here um, he's he's not doing too well but we'll we'll figure out something there but all the other ones are doing decent I am thinking about maybe um, rehoming these discus and starting over just in this tank with with different discus, um, just to have something different and change change things around. Um, and uh, you know, I'm not getting out of discus or anything, but uh, just thought I would maybe think about doing that here, maybe over the winter sometime. So we'll see what uh, kind of selections we get in at my local fish store and stuff like that, and possibly uh, change that around. Over here at the 90 gallon discus tank, um, I got four discus in here right now that are doing great. Um, two red covers, um, one, uh, I forget this, blue scorpion I believe, and then one um, reflection D. The reflection D and this red cover breed, and then when I brought these two new ones in, I believe that or I shouldn't say that they breed, but they, they spawn and then the eggs always get eaten just because of all the other fish in here and everything. But I think last time what happened is the two red covers actually paired up and, and laid eggs. I didn't see it happen, so I'm not sure, but once there was eggs laid, um, the two red covers were actually guarding them and um, keeping the two blue discus away, so it's hard to say for sure. but. Really digging these guys the way they look, especially this guy. I mean, just look at, uh, I don't know if that turn comes out on video, but it's almost like a shiny blue. Uh, the plants in here are doing better than last time. The Blix is doing real great along the back. I had some problems with the S Repens not growing the way I had hoped, and now they're starting to seem to bounce back. Um, I added some more root tabs, and that seems to be doing the trick. So I, don't, I just don't think they were getting enough nutrients from below, but time will tell on that so uh, below 
We got one of the red cherry shrimp tanks. Uh, you can see a few shrimp out and about right now. Uh, at some point I'm going to redo this tank as far as what plants are in it and stuff like that, but for now I'm just letting it roll. Um, over here under the 150, I don't know if you can see that this is the other red cherry tank, but along the back there are just tons of, uh, I don't know if you call them shrimplets or juveniles, but they're feeding on like a, a film that's on the back. All those guys on there, that's pretty cool. Got some nice adults in this tank, kind of a mixture of some different um, gene pools, I guess, from different people that I've gotten them from since I kind of got the red cherry shrimps reestablished. Um, looking to get some more Taiwan moss to add to this little clump I've got here. It's kind of algae ridden right now, but I'd like to get a big, a big, uh, big bunch of Taiwan moss going in this tank. So. Got a little pearl weed back there with algae going too and some frog bit above. But so that's what's going on with this one. Up here is the uh, the blue pearl tank. Tons of algae growing right now. Um, which is fine in a shrimp tank. Um, but for looks it's not the greatest and I am gonna clear it out. Um, you can see a few here and there. These ones hide a lot more, um, but when it's feeding time, it's pretty crazy. Oh, here's a whole bunch of small, smaller juvies down in this area right here, if you can see them. So, I don't know, I won't spend too much time on that, but we will go back out, or not back out, but out to the area here, and we'll take a look at the African cichlid tank. What happened? No more African cichlids. Tank is empty as you can see. I sold these all off last week. The only thing left in here right now are um, the clown loaches, the plecos and stuff like that. And then, uh, you can't even see them, but I got this guy in here temporarily. So this is, hopefully this weekend here, I'm going to tear out um, the crushed coral and the undergravel filter. I'm sick of having an undergravel filter in here. I don't need it. I've got two Marine Land C530s underneath. And I'm going to throw in some pool filter sand. Um, I've got all, most of the rocks that were in the African tank right here. I'm going to rescape it with some rocks and driftwood and hopefully it'll look cool. And then we'll bring something from the basement up into here. And I'll show you guys that when it comes. So not much more to say about that right now. I will head downstairs. First we'll take a look at the Red Devil tank. Uh, these guys, if I would have filmed this yesterday, you would have seen a cloud of fry around them. Um, these guys, the last two spawns now, they start with a huge cloud of hundreds of fry and every day I can visibly see it decreasing. Um, one time I pulled them out and they didn't make it in the grow out tank within a day they were all dead. This time I let them stay in there and just each day there were less and less and came down here this morning and when I went to bed last night there was probably 50 and now there's zero. So I'm not sure if they're just dying off or if these guys are eating them. If anyone has any uh, insight on that let me know. But they spawn regularly. Um, I've got this uh, this guy in here that uh, got beat up pretty bad in another tank, um, just letting him heal up right now. Um, he's really starting to turn into a piebald, as you can see all the white coming out, but his fins are almost healed up. There's just a little bit left on right in that area where my fingertip was, if you can see, that got um, nipped up pretty bad. So uh, Down below, this beast, he's still doing good. Got a great attitude as always. Likes to try to bite my hand uh, when it gets in the tank when I'm doing cleanings or anything like that. But he's just chilling out down here in the 120 fat boy. Possibility that I'll bring this guy upstairs into that tank I just showed you. Not sure yet. But 
She's a beast as always. All right, moving along around the corner here. Start on top. Got the uh, Islatus. Still got nine of them in here. Two of them are really growing faster than the rest. Actually three, but two are a little bigger than the third one. But this guy's one of the three. This one back in the flower pot here. And then these guys are hiding right now. I'm not sure, but this guy, he's kind of, he kind of rules the tank right now. He's got a nuchal hump already coming on, but they, they like to hide behind this pot once I put it in there um, till it's feeding time. This tank is getting replaced. Um, I've got a 75 gallon sitting in the back of my truck right now that uh, is going to go up here instead of this 40 long so they'll have more space. Keep growing them out until I can get a pair and then I'll get rid of the rest of them. Um, Below we got the shrimp tanks and one sick African left that I'm trying to, uh, he's got a real bad case of sunken belly, I'm trying to cure him, we'll see. Uh, red really tank filled with java moss, um, don't see any out right now, I've got it so densely, th oh there's one, there's some molts back there it looks like too. Um, got it so densely, densely um, planted with java moss that I don't see them all that often, which maybe was kind of a mistake, but whatever. Um, this is the carbon really tank. You can see the frog bed is really growing downward. There's one right here. These carbon reallys, if I had to do it all over again, I would get... Um, kind of that uh, reddish colored substrate um, because they're so dark it's hard to see them all the time on the black substrate. Um, crystal red tank, uh, these are these seem to be the ones that I see the most of and seem to be doing the best of the shrimp that I've gotten so far. Sorry about the reflection there. Um, you can see them, um, there's some on these uh, manzanita driftwood here. Try to zoom in for you. Some in the back there by those crypts. One right here. Um, different grades. There's one of the couple of the nicer ones with just the one red band, higher grade. Um, below, nothing special here. Just one of the planted grow out tanks. Um, still got a ton of Blixa. If anybody needs some, it's trim time again. I sold a bunch of it before, and now I'm ready to sell a bunch of it again. Let me know if you need some Blixa or any of the plants you see in here. I got a bunch of uh, Limnophilia aromatica that's grown up to the top and ready to trim. So uh, let me know on that. Also over there, there's a, a ton more of plants that uh, need trimming. I got a bunch of Anubias, Barterae. Big, big chunks here. Let me see if I can grab one. These are real nice sized. Um, I was at a local fish auction a couple weeks ago and one, uh, these were going for like 20 bucks a pop. They're nice sized plants. I'm um, thinking I may get rid of some of those too, so let me know if you're interested. Got some Anubius Nana down here. Bunch of Blixa. Uh, stuff like that so um umby grow out tank real mag umbies i thinned the herd a little bit and uh, gave about half of what i had back to mike mike man um, by the way too he just hit 200 or 2000 subs go check out his channel um the guy deserves a ton more subs than that he's got a great channel some of the best tanks on youtube um so go check him out and make sure you subscribe but um, you can see some various different sizes left in here. There's probably 20 of them in here still, 15 to 20. Some of the bigger ones right up here. Trying to find a female to pair off with um, with uh, Thorson, who I'll show you in a minute. These are all from um, Mike's um, pair, Magnus and Beast. These are F1 real Magdalena umbies. 
they it's just unbelievable how freckled up and nicely these have turned out as they started to grow out um, some of the best zombies I've seen out there so I'm really happy to have these and um, hopefully we'll end up getting a good pair um, with some of these specimens here so uh, below we have got this this is just the chaos tank right now so I've got this is the whole the my first pair of Holgas and you can see she's pretty beat up as usual um, I divided them and I kind of used the method with the hole in the divider and all she wants to, all she did was keep keeps going back over to this side of the tank um, for more she really wants to spawn with him I think and um, in the meantime I had thrown in the three other red devils that I had because those other ones were spawning and in the meantime these two set up camp over on this side and spawned and you can see a cloud of fry there so now I can't really I don't really want to put her back over to here and close the door as, as if you will so I'm just kind of letting things happen and playing out she gets beat up but not anywhere near death just it's she looks bad I'm gonna admit that and I don't like seeing it but that's kind of what's going on right now I'm kind of just I guess letting them sort sort it out if you will and see if see if anything is ever gonna happen if not I'll find something else out got a couple of accordi left in here there's my um, albino sailfin out right now too so so that's what's going on in this tank up here is the other hoga tank got some accordi in here too it's triton beastly as ever There's Pandora. Her fins are a little nipped up, but they, uh, sorry, there's a lot of algae on this. I haven't cleaned this tank yet this for this week. Um, they continuously make me think they're going to spawn, but they never do. I mean, I don't know if it's ever going to happen or not. You can see her tube's down. He's ready to go. And they play around in that pot all day long. Um, Got some Bacordi in here that I'm going to get rid of. And I got this guy back here. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with him yet. He may go in that tank upstairs too. I'm not sure. Down here, um, the uh, Gorillas Black Umbies are now gone. And I've got a pair of Chanchos in here that I picked up from uh, Mike last weekend. They're getting along great so far. Um, I'm thinking within a week or so they're going to spawn. They've been showing behavior towards it already. When I got these last weekend, they were sitting on some wigglers, that, uh, so they had just spawned uh, over at Mike's place, but they really look like they're wanting to. Uh, her tube's partially down and stuff, so showing a lot of the signs. Um, so I'm liking these guys so far. Um, we'll see what happens with them. All right, up here we've got Thorson. He's growing nicely, looking decent. A lot of nice freckling. Um, what I've been doing is taking out one at a time that I think might be a female and putting them in here to see if there's any interaction. This is the latest one. <coughs> Not much going on. She doesn't show any color changes towards him. So I'll be uh, getting rid of her and putting her back in the main umby tank and trying it again with something else. But there's that's about all. Oh, and, and I've got a second 75 out in my truck that's going to replace this 55 up here too. So that'll give them some more space. When I sold off my Africans, I decided to keep Big Sexy. So he's right here. Not sure if I'm going to keep him still or get rid of him, but and his female's in there somewhere. There she is back there. And then I've still got one of these uh, females and one male of these like four four inch ones that were um, 
that came from this pair. So I've sold off all the rest of them. So these are the last two I've got for sale. Uh, next door here is uh, the one batch of uh, Red Devil Fry that I've uh, kept at this point. They're doing decent. I've still got like seven or so um, Gorilla's Black Fry. Not sure why I kept them, but I did. And then uh, the Venusis Girl, it's the ones that I've always been saying are one inch, are getting closer to two. And I've got four left of the ones that I was selling as two inch, and they're pretty much three inch now. So if anyone's looking for some Venustis before things get too cold, um, let me know and we can work something out and ship them off to you. I already talked about the planet tank below. So really that's about it for now, guys. Um, <clears throat> I want to uh, again thank everybody that watches my videos and subscribes and and uh, takes the time out to to uh, comment and watch my videos and stuff. It means a lot to me. It's it's just a really cool thing the way we all interact within this community on on YouTube and uh, on Facebook and stuff like that. Um, I want to make sure everybody goes and checks out aquatic support systems on Facebook and go over and join the aquatic support community group on Facebook and fish keepers classifieds if you've got fish or equipment that you're looking to sell or buy um, it's a good place to do that and stay tuned um, be some uh, new stuff coming forward with aquatic support systems uh, pretty soon and make sure you check out all the YouTube channels of the members of Team Aquatic Support um, they will be listed below so thanks for watching guys uh, make sure you uh, hit that like button comment subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you soon